Welcome to our next CLA Mobility Matters video on claw horn lesions. Claw horn lesions are those that affect the hoof and sole. The three most common claw horn lesions are sole bruising, sole ulceration and white line disease. Less commonly seen claw horn lesions include toe necrosis, heel and toe abscesses, heel horn erosion, corkscrew claws and fissures in the hoof wall. We will talk in detail about the three common claw horn lesions. Sole bruising and sole ulceration are caused in the same way. Sole bruising is often seen before sole ulceration. Pressure occurs at a particular site in the foot, as shown in the diagram, usually resulting in bleeding at the corium or quick from where sole horn grows. Here are some photos of sole ulcers. As sole horn grows at a rate of 5mm per month, sole bruising and ulceration is often not seen for a few months after the trauma. At and around calving, ligaments slacken in the foot and can result in the pedal or toe bone sinking and pinching the quick or corium. A good model during trimming can relieve the pressure at this site by transferring the weight back to the wall and toe triangle. White line disease occurs when the wall horn and the solar horn weakens and starts to separate. Often stones can get caught in this separation, making it worse. Severe cases can result in a white line abscess. Twisting and shearing forces through the foot exacerbate the risk of this claw horn lesion. It is important to ensure good cow flow and always handle the cows quietly and calmly to reduce these damaging forces on the foot. Now that we've covered the common claw horn lesions seen in dairy cattle, please move on to our next video on infectious lesions of the foot. Thanks for watching this Mobility Matters video on claw horn lesions.